Okay, everybody, we are going to drop in the um, URL here. I do, again, apologize for not um, selecting the winner earlier, but here we go. And we will filter duplicate comments and... Um, Let's go ahead and get our comments. So we have 43 unique comments. And let me go ahead and click start, start raffle and pick random winner. Scroll down here so we can see. Okay, oh, hi Karen. Okay, Karen, is it did not enter. So let's pick another winner. Okay, Tracy G. Let's see here. Thank you, thank you. Um, congratulations. All right, so nope, Tracy didn't enter as well. So let's pick another winner. <laughs> okay. Here we go, Arlene, congratulations, Arlene. I see part of your first comment is Bag of the Month Club. Um, gift card, Bag of the Month gift card, um, and you're still trying to figure out what you're gonna sell for a BHM. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who entered. Thank you, Arlene. Please make sure that you reach out to me. Email is on the screen. And yeah, off to the video. Hello everybody, this is going to be somewhat of a little bit of a, a vlog style. Um, please forgive my teeth if you see them. I just came from the dentist and I had, you know how they put that fluoride over your teeth and they make it look all gunky. So if you see that, that's what happened. I just came from the dentist, so excuse that. But anyway, I'm off to my next appointment. I am getting lash extensions. So you guys, I have done my research. Hopefully you can see, yeah, you can. I am part of the itty bitty no lash committee, you know, real, real, real little. And I have been contemplating this for a while. I know people, you know, personally that got them and just love them. And so I was like, I am going to treat myself for my birthday, see how I like it. I know there's a maintenance to them. So I'm sure the lady will go over all of that with me inside um i will yeah i'll tell you about my experience when i'm all done but yeah this is what she is looking like before lashes before lashes so let's see how this goes all right guys i'm back in the car what do you think look at this oh my goodness what do you think? I am going to have to get used to this because I feel like there's something flying off of my face like this. Um, I'm supposed to come back in two weeks for a refill and maintenance check to check on them, which is fine. Um, we'll see how I feel about uh, keeping this limp. Um, it's almost feel like they're so fluttery, but I'm just not used to it, but it looks good. It looks good, but let me tell you something. It is freezing here. It is cold. It's like 20. If I look on my phone right now, it is, it's cold, right? It's 32 degrees. But how about they don't have the heat on in this place? It is freezing. And the girl fingers were so, um, her hands were cold. And I'm starving. I'm about to eat. These are grain-free, plant-based, gluten-free um, pretzels in sea salt. And I don't tend to eat a lot of pretzels, even though it is gluten-free. But I'm, I'm so happy I brought this because I am starving. I haven't eaten anything. So I will check in with you all again. Um, like I said, it's a little birthday vlog. This is Friday the 4th. Um, so I will pick back up the camera and soon and you'll see me in the next clip. I have to now go run a bunch of errands, run to the grocery store um, and get back home. And you would have seen my video by now from Sunday, um, the sewing buzz. I recorded that before I left and now I am going home to edit that after I'm done running my errands. All right, we'll see you in the next clip. 
happy Saturday okay so I am here to get my eyebrows threaded that's a normal thing that's not like a, a treat for me I get that done every month I get my eyebrows threaded and my upper lip wax so that is what I am headed to today and then I have one other errand to run to the Dollar Tree and then I should be back home and then I'll share with you what I got from the Dollar Tree and why I picked it up but yeah these eyebrows Oof. okay just finished getting my eyebrows and my lip wax I tell you every time I get my eyebrows done I always feel like it completely <laughs> wakes up my face and now that I have both lashes and my eyebrows done I'm like it is giving me a whole nother look that I'm loving so anyway off to, I'm actually running to the beauty supply store and then I need to run to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar General is right there behind me if you can see my rear view mirror, but I need to go to the Dollar Tree. All right, I'll see you all in the next clip. Okay, so I am back at home and I just came from the Dollar Tree and pretty much got everything that I wanted. I don't think there's anything outstanding um, and then had to run to the store for um, something my husband wanted. So anyway, this is what I went to the store for. Um, quick story. Oh, okay. Let me insert Hair Chronicles real quick. Um, and Hair Chronicles is about my hair, obviously. Um, so you all know that I usually do... Um, protective styles and because I've mentioned this before um, my channel used to be natural hair years years ago and so anyway so I had a natural hair routine but over the years and I think I said this last year when I talked about starting to do protective style because I want my hair to grow back to the middle of my back and um because that's the length I've always had long hair but I noticed it wasn't growing <laughs> as it should and then I had to really take stock in how I was taking care of my hair and I was not doing what I was doing before and so I've started back doing that and you know with the protective styles and everything but in between the um protective styles one of the things I noticed about my hair that I have been avoiding for years is that my hair likes water and um, usually I'm pretty lazy well I was lazy um, over the past <laughs> few years with doing my hair on a regular washing it more frequently and when I say more frequently more than once a month because I was pretty lazy but more than once a month like once a week is what I need to go down to but then I discovered um it may be because it's the water down here that's different from up north that um my hair definitely still dries out um quickly and you guys can go back and look at my natural hair videos trust me I know how to keep my hair moisturized but I have to pick back up my routine so one of the things last night I went to this uh beauty supply store um and it was huge it's overwhelming but i end up and i'll pop a clip up it's overwhelming space but anyway i picked up some co-wash and i've never co-washed my hair but i'm thinking um yeah i'm thinking i need to in between my regular washes and then and for those who are curious about my hair routine i'm gonna leave a link up here because i've done that video already i think i did it it was last year i did it but um so i picked up some stuff last night and i'll probably share a picture here of what i picked up last night and then um but since i know i'm, I'm gonna do co-washing more frequently in between so i'm thinking i might wash my hair um once every two weeks but in between i'll be doing co-washing and um using the products that popped up in that picture <clears throat> but i'm gonna do that every three days and so I wanted another protective style because as much as I love twist styles and um, wearing twist styles, I still want to protect my hair and my ends. Um, and so when I'm not in the mood to do twist and then pin them up or anything like that, I decided to, I picked up one of these. It is called a ponytail and this one is by, this one is called Kinky fro doll and it has a um it says a drawstring i figure that will help me 
because this is my first time ever using something like this. So that's a quick hair chronicle. Um, so I am excited about doing that. But anyway, so what I picked up today, and um, it might be easier for me just to sh turn this down. Okay, yeah, you can see. I picked up some storage bags, um, some um, antibacterial wipes, some um, floss, some sanitary napkins, some hand sanitizers, some soap, bar soaps, different um, bar soaps, as you can tell, different bar soaps, um, some socks, some towels, um, some, uh, these are uh, Kleenex, and then over here, then I have some toothbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, some deodorant for men, women, men and women. And then, what else did I get? I had, um, the dollar store didn't have any crackers, so I went and got some crackers. Okay, so the reason I picked this up is because, and I thought I would share this with you, um, you know, usually I don't share things that I do offline um, and other things that I'm involved in and, and stuff like that. I'm just not one of those people. If you do, that's fine, but I'm, I just don't um, do that. What you don't see that I'm going to add in here is a bottled water. So uh, we lived down here in Texas for what? coming up on six years it's a little over five years actually and when I lived in Wisconsin one of the things <clears throat> I did back at home I had for when you see homeless people um, there oh I forgot I also got um, some of these packs of cookies too little snacks um, I would put you know a little storage bag with everything in it um and so when you see someone out that looks like they can benefit uh from from it a homeless person or something man or woman um sometimes it's a family <clears throat> um then you can give them something um and the other thing you don't see are devotional books um daily devotionals i have to go run upstairs and get those but i'll show that in the end um and so um, being familiar with Wisconsin and Milwaukee in particular and the areas and everything, you because you have to be discerning um, and careful depending on the areas that you drive in. And so seeing that not familiar with Texas and the Texas areas, definitely, you know, just being mindful. But it was brought back to my remembrance um, recently about this is something that I did. <clears throat> and so... Um, it, um, I was led to put this package together again. And, um, because when I tell you it, everybody can't do the same thing, but everybody can do something. And I will say anytime you feel like for those who believe and are Christians, I am a Christian. I believe in the father, the son and the Holy spirit. Um, and so anytime you feel like your life is under attack or Maybe you don't recognize it, but <clears throat> your life is under attack or something comes up or whatever the case may be. Um, instead of focusing on that thing, to just be a blessing, just pour out into somebody else's life and continue to seek God in prayer. And he will take care of you, but take care of, take care of others as um, the Lord leads you as you are able. Like I said, everybody can do the same thing, but we all can do something, right? <clears throat> so that is what I am doing. So I have, I'm doing, uh, and I like the dollar store because they got these jumbo uh, bags, the, the jumbo storage bags, which I love. I can fit everything in here comfortably. Um, but like I said, I need to get the bottled water, which we have a whole bunch, and um, the devotionals. I'm doing eight bags. Uh, four for women, four for men, and then I'll split those up um, into our two vehicles that we'll just have at the ready. Um, 
and, and replenish as needed. Um, but yeah, just being discerning about when to give them out and, and all of that. Um, but I have to tell you, God has been most certainly good to me. He has been good to my family. Um, and so, yeah, so that is what I am going to get ready to do. I am going to speed this section up um, and then I am going to eat some lunch. Okay, I was down my camera had cut off <laughs> but anyway I just needed to add my uh, the water bottle and the devotional so I've done that for all of the bags so that is done and I actually need to I was gonna put them in bags and set them out in the car but I need to show my husband so <laughs> he recognizes you know the ones with the had sanitary napkins in them are for women um that's pretty much the only difference and of course the the um deodorant but it'll be easier for him to delineate if he sees that all right i think that's it for today tomorrow we're going to kima to do some seafood shopping and then monday is my birthday
Wednesday, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. So as you can tell, this was a little bit of a different type of video. It was more of a um, vlog style, kind of birthday vlog style type um, video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of started off on Friday, as you all know, with the lashes, which they have been hanging in there. I did accidentally pull off a little bit <laughs> on one side. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. I go back in a couple weeks. So I've had them now for a few days now. And so um, absolutely love them. I think because um, I go back in a couple weeks for like an um, um, so she can check them and all that good stuff. I think in the future I'm going to have them um, cut down just a little shorter because after having a few days to wear my glasses and you know I don't have much of a bridge or anything on my nose. So um how I wear tend to wear my glasses and how they move um, ever so slightly they do uh, I feel like they depend on how I wear my glasses just ever so slightly whisper right up against my lenses so I think I will have her take them down just a little bit but I absolutely love them you gotta let me know what you think and then of course Saturday was a busy day Sunday um you saw where we um went and picked up some seafood so excited about that that'll last us for quite some time um and then of course the seventh was my birthday I appreciate all of the birthday wishes thank you thank you all for the birthday wishes um on the previous video and those that were left on Instagram I appreciate it um my husband actually couldn't hold water the sixth because here's what happened we were supposed to the plan was um i wanted to get up on my birthday um you know kind of mosey around and whatnot go get uh pedicures manicure um then go to a restaurant to sit and eat well yeah tmi life chronicle that time of the month and when I tell you the cramps and everything kicked in, you guys, I, I just couldn't. Sunday, I was already feeling it. And then um, Monday on my birthday, I woke up like, ooh, maybe I'll just lay in the bed all day. But I was like, no, I'm pushing through. Um, so still, as you can see, got the pedicures and got, I just got my nail bed cleaned up because I'm actually going to do, I think I'm uh, going to do a dip powder or I might do the overlay like I did before. Um, we, we shall see, but he couldn't hold water on Sunday. He gave me my fragrance, um, which is, which I asked for. This is actually Lancome, um, Hypnos. This was a fragrance I used to wear all the time and don't know why I stopped wearing it. He got me the, um, 2.5 fluid ounces, which is 75, um, mils. I absolute, when I sprayed this, I was like, I just wanted to jump in the bottle. Cause I, I remember, um, I actually received this. Um, as a gift, a wedding gift from one of my managers. I told you guys I used to work at Bath and Body Works. So one of my managers there, um, this is a department store, Lancome um, Hypnos, and she bought me this for um, um, as a wedding gift. And I uh, wore it, uh, I, I got it that day. Did she give it to me the day before? I can't remember, but I loved it and then I ran out of it and then I repurchased it and when I ran out of it again I don't know why I never repurchased it and so um oh, when I tell you this smells so good I'm gonna tell you real quick because this is not a new fragrance it's been out since uh 2005 um for those who are familiar with Lancome since and when I tell you it smells so good it has a nice sillage too so definitely you walk by somebody they will definitely smell you the notes are passion flower gardenia jasmine vetiver and vanilla so I think I mentioned before I like those the jasmine um like amber vanilla vetiver scents that's um and even though this has gardenia in it it's not overly uh floral like a floral scent i absolutely absolutely love this one of my faves and now that it's back um yeah i know it's gonna get a dent and so um but you all know i've been sharing since and everything and i said i would share more um so look out for that again apologies for not in my previous video announcing the winner as planned in the sewing buzz but we have our winner for the bag of the month gift card thank you everybody for entering um arlene make sure that you reach out to me um, my email is on the screen and so we can get you your 
uh, gift cards. So yeah, so let me go ahead and jump into the review of what I wore for my birthday, my birthday dress. You all knew from my plans that um, this was the first make I wanted to share with you. I have the dress right here. Um, I will pop up video of me in it and pictures, so make sure that you are staying tuned for that. Um, I absolutely love this dress. There's not a whole heck of a lot for me to say um, about the dress itself other than it is absolutely perfect. I knew um, I wanted to make this last year and just never got around to it in the summer is when I wanted to make it last year and never got around to it. And so I had put on my um, list. I said, you know, what? I'm just going to do that for my birthday dress. I absolutely love the it's the Allison 10 dress by um, Jasmine uh, Desiree, also known as uh, So Much Jazz um, on Instagram. So I will link to the pattern and where you can find her on Instagram. But I just knew I wanted something that was floaty, um, you know, just free flowing. And I'm lucky that... <laughs> The weather did improve ever so slightly um, up in the 50s. So when I wore it, um, it was it was about early, it was about midday. So it was about 58 degrees out. So it was comfortable. It was comfortable. I did not have to wear a jacket or anything like that. But this is the dress. I absolutely love it. You all know this fabric is my bespoke fabric. It is available. You can shop it. You can go over to my website, look at all of the designs that was um, created for this year, and then you can shop it over on Spoonflower. Even if you're international, you can shop it yourself off of Spoonflower. And remember from my previous video, I now have all of the designs in various scales. This is the large scale because I love large scale prints. Also a medium scale scale and a small scale and so um I absolutely love this now there's only eight pieces to the pattern let me tell you a little bit about the pattern there's only eight pieces you have your sleeve you have your sleeve ruffle you have your front your back this does have facing pieces the front and back facing piece and then um you also have your uh ruffle <clears throat> at the bottom and I use bias binding now y'all know my little faux pas with the bias binding I had to pick uh um fix earlier this year so I made sure to you know focus and pay attention make sure I was grabbing all of the fabric you know I was checking all the way and this was a lot because this um circumference of this hem is long and I did serge the inside and I used my variegated uh thread um I'll pop up a picture it's pink it got pink and purple swirls in it so pretty um so I thought that was very nice and so funny because I'm sewing a lot of purple, as you all know, this month, I don't think I'm going to have to change my thread in my serger or in my, um, well, I might change my thread to the purple variegated thread. But um, in my sewing machine, I'm like using the same color all month. So that's convenient. Um, I absolutely love the way this dress um, flows. Now, her sizing is very good. Um, it's... You, Obviously, you don't have to worry about any closure. It pulls on over the head. She starts at a size extra small, which is 29 um, inches at the bust. And she goes all the way up to a 5XL, which is a 58 to 60 at the bust. So the size I cut, you all know how I like to do. I, because I have narrow shoulders, I started with a large. I only did a large right up here because I wanted the dress to, um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't, you know, hanging off my shoulders or anything like that. And it was absolutely perfect. Um, you'll be able to, um, hopefully tell in the pictures. I think I got close enough up for that, but I did a large only at the top. And then from there, I graded back out above the notch to a 2X. So a large, um, um, I pretty much use my high bust measurement, um, 38 to 40 inches is a large. And then the 2X is a 46 to 48 for the bust. And my bust sits at 45, but I wanted a little bit more movement in it. And so, um, cause I technically could have gone based on the finished garment measurement from a large to extra large, um, but I wanted just a little bit more um, room. And so it turned out perfect. So I'm happy I went with the extra large. I absolutely love the way it comes out. And remember I showed you this guys, um, it has the BHM um, PD uh, 20, well, 
the updated does have BHM PD 22 on it. So I absolutely love the way this dress turned out. It is, I, and when I put on the perfume, I, I just, I was so happy. It just gave me so much happiness, so much joy. I was just like, look at my dress. It's so pretty. And as you all know, who've been ordering, thank you so much for the orders. My garment label, this one says, hey cutie in it. And this one, the background is this brush stroke. It's a, a brush stroke um, design for that particular label. And so, and that's what this is. This is the, this is the brush stroke design. And so what I will say about the instructions, super duper easy there is and it does have pockets you will see in the picture super duper easy it's, it's nothing complicated about this dress at all putting it together what i absolutely love one of the features are the pin tucks at the shoulders if you can ever so slightly tell there are pin tucks here and i love that because i feel like it gives it a nice drape from the shoulder down. And I really like it because, maybe because I have narrow shoulders, I like that feature at the top where it just kind of brings it, um, bring a nice little detail up here. And then you do, you don't have to worry about any darts. There are no darts in here or anything like that. So I absolutely love that. Now for the facing, you all know how I, t I'll pop up a video. You all know how I typically do my facing where it's clean and you don't have to worry about, I mean, you have the option to do um, bias binding um, at the bottom of the um, facing here, but I, you know how I do with the just flip it over. Um, and usually, you all know I always use heat bond to uh, put this down instead of um, stitching it here and all that. I did not do that this time, only because the the little issue I had with it coming undone um, in my recent top, my Vogue top that I, I had to uh, fix, I am going to, and that was um, uh, the heat bond from Wawak. I'm actually going to uh, use the actual heat bond from the um, Joanne fabrics that I normally get. I just haven't made it back there yet. And then I'll use that because I've never had issues with that heat bond compared to the um, one that I use uh, on that one top. And so I was like, I don't want to run into that again. So I'm just going to wait when I get it from um, Joanne fabrics. I'll just use it. And you all know, I'll same thing here. I'll, I adhere it underneath here, underneath here and along the back so it doesn't move because I've never had that happen to me before ever 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 and so um that's what I will do I don't like stitching down I don't like stitch lines um so that's why I won't do that um but I absolutely love this dress I would say it will take you between uh two to three hours I would say the thing that took me the longest was gathering the bottom ruffle and then doing, because I decided to do the bias binding at the bottom um, of the hem, that's the only thing that took the longest um, to do this. But when your front and back is cut on the fold, everything is just so super easy. And I love the way this uh, drapes on me. And I do want to make another, but you all know I got to keep moving on to some um, more... Um, some more patterns here um but i absolutely i love 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 this i definitely can see me making more in the future but um i highly recommend it i really do i knew when it came out that i would love it just because i like the if you like this type of shaping where you have the um the drape and the movement it's not you know body hugging or anything you will love this it was released last year in february 2021 and so um yeah so exciting absolutely love it i hope you enjoy the uh birthday style vlog um and i hope that you are having fun looking up pattern designers is bhm pattern designers people have been tagging me we've already had entry um of a handbag so make sure you are following the hashtag bhm pattern designers over on instagram um and yeah if you still you know need some ideas and everything for um, different black pattern designers, whether it's knitting, whether it's crochet, quilting, garment, handbags, head over to SoNaturalDame.com and go over to the BHM Pattern Designers page and you will see where you can get started. It might not be uh, all inclusive of everything that I know about, um, but it is a very good jumping off point. All of the links and everything to all the um, 
designers have been updated um and as i learn of new ones i do add them out there so make sure that you are checking the website um again thank you everybody for your purchases thank you all for your support i'm so excited make sure you stay tuned for sunday sunday's video that will be um that will be a, they're all going to be a fun one i think um i think i know what i'm going to do uh present on sunday so Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And everybody who has ordered so far, <clears throat> by the time you see this video, you should have received your tracking and your package is already in the mail who have ordered already uh, from the website. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you again for all of the birthday wishes. You all have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you on Sunday. Bye.